YouTube, 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 YouTube. I bet you guys are tired of me saying YouTube, but uh, I'm gonna say it once more. Okay, just one more time. You. What's up, it's your boy 360 Jeezy. And today in this video, I did a high top fade. It was dope, well blended. You guys are gonna see how I blended it low and just fade it and the transition was just, it was just nice, man. You know, I, I went in it and I attacked it a little different than I normally attack my fades. You know, I started off low and then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going, all right, we, we just gonna get into the video cause I'm rambling at the mouth, all right? I just wanna say this to everybody out there that follows me, you know what I mean? If I could do it, you could do it too, all right? Don't think that all this comes easy. It takes hard work and dedication. It takes consistency. It takes, you know, being inspired and just staying on your grind, you know what I mean? Never sleeping, you know, never taking that time off to rest. It's just 100% Go, 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 go. As long as you put that work ethic into whatever you do, you're gonna be successful, all right? It's your boy 360GZ, and I, I keep I keep forgetting to say this too. As long as you putting the work in and keeping God first as well, cause I keep leaving that out, that's a big part, all right? As long as you keeping God first, it's gonna happen for you. It's your boy 360GZ, stay tuned. Before you start any cut, you want to make sure you comb and brush the hair down before you start. All right, do what you got to do to make sure that the hair is picked out or you know stretched out to its maximum potential. Whatever you need to do to make sure everything is neat, do that before you actually start cutting. It's just like when you cut and brush everything down as you go. You want to make sure, is that Mim the Barber? Really? Really? Okay. All right. So yeah, make sure you guys brush, comb everything out before you start cutting. All right, first step I'm taking is using my Andis Slimline Pro Li to set in my bald line. When I set in my bald line, I'm making sure that I set it low. Now, normally I start at the, uh, you know, temple at the, the corner part, but I decided to go a little bit below that and I'm just running it back because I want it, I want it to basically do a greater transition. So that's why, that's the reason why I'm starting so low. So right now, this is the easy part. All you gotta do is balled out, all right? I'm using my Andes Cordless BGRCs. I'm just taking off the rest of the bulk. Using my Andis Prolithium Shavers, I'm just creating another transition at the bottom. What I'm basically doing is balding out the bottom, making it razor bald. Now, sometimes I don't do this on African Americans. A lot of times I won't use this shaver, um, but with his uh, texture, you know, it, it's okay to use. You know what I mean? With straighter texture, um, you know, not so curly texture. It won't leave, you know, too many uh, razor bumps. So make sure you just pay attention to the texture. With the lever open, I'm gonna go up an inch on the sides. But as I go to the back, I'm gonna open it up and go another half an inch, all right? You're gonna see that the transition is wider in the back 
because in the back of the head it's more room to work with than on the sides so make sure you do a inch on the sides and about an inch and a half in the back So with the one guard open, just make sure you go up about an inch, keeping that same consistency. Make sure that you go up about an inch and a half as you go in the back because again, there's more room to work with. With the one and a half guard, all you gotta do is run that clipper and the guard straight up. Putting back on my one guard open, I'm just cleaning up that area between the one and the one and a half. With the one guard closed in a flick out motion, soften up that middle line. So with the half guard on halfway in a flick out motion, flick out the middle line. So closing the lever in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Now as you go up into the lever open, make sure you adjust your blade as such. So now is where you do your detail work. You use your corners. You um, you know you use different guards to uh, attack the blend. Um, the best bet is to look away from the blend. Um, don't be so focused on you know what you're doing to not take a second and look at something else to just to get a new set of eyes basically. So once you do that go attack your blends using different guards make sure you use your corners and if you can and if you you know have thinning shears try to use those as well with the uh, comb using my magic clips um, these are custom magic clips by the way these are balding clippers uh, shout out to B, B. Clark customs on Instagram he's the one that customized these clippers um, I'm just running the clippers straight up doing some freehand work and uh, you know shaping that high top to uh, the way I want it to look
right now I'm putting the final touches on my client's haircut um, I'm using my you know shears to just knock off the little hairs at the top um, my client didn't really want a flat 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 top so I'm just kind of cutting off the top a little bit cleaning it up getting it shaped a little better than what it is YouTube, this is The Cut, and if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is Jeezy360, and my Instagram is 360Jeezy. If you guys want to know where you can get these tools that I'm using in this video, make sure you check out the description box below. Otherwise, it's your boy 360Jeezy, and I'm out of here.